Hello, it's Claire Phoenix. I'm here at Health Ingredients Europe and I'm here with Yasmin Uzdemir. She's a market analyst with Innova Market Insights. Um, Yasmin, can you just tell me about some of these new products you have here? Sure. Um, so we brought these ingredients to the show because they are interesting to us for uh, the ingredients that they use in it. So I'll just run you through a couple of them. This is a drink from Chile and it's an anti-aging wellness drink. It also supports your immune system and they base those claims around the high uh, antioxidant levels because they use the maki berries inside and it has a lot of vitamins A, C, E and B in there. So have they had clinical studies on this or are, they just, are you just looking at everything that's new? Uh, no, yeah, we're just looking at everything that's new. So I'm not sure, but I don't think that there will be any clinical research behind this, but don't pin me to that. Okay, and this... Um so this drink? one, yeah, this is one of those energy shots and we saw the five hour energy uh, and this is a 10 hour energy release. So it keeps you from crashing and it gives you an energy throughout 10 uh, hours of the day. That's quite a promise, isn't it? How do they achieve 10 hours? What's, yeah. what's the ma magic ingredient here? Well, they use a couple of uh, ingredients in this blend, which is taurine, caffeine, L-theanine and quercetin. So they have a couple of them in there and it could be the combination of those ingredients that keeps you running throughout those 10 hours so it's, it's quite from a, crashing it doesn't taste absolutely brilliant does it but but you would know that it would functional yeah exactly i would think so okay yeah. right so the next one um so we all know the protein trend is a huge one so we see that in beverages as well so this is a protein water and it actually has quite a lot of protein content in there for 30 beverage. grams that's high yeah, yeah 30 grams per bottle and they use a, a blend of proteins in here which is let me have a look oh it's in a different language oh yeah it's whey protein isolate. And, yeah, was, oh, that's it. Yeah, it's whey protein isolate that they use in here, which has a high protein content. I was chatting with all the food ingredients who make the ingredients for it yesterday. Yeah. They are here at the show as well. Yeah. yeah. And the, the water is interesting. Um, so this one is from Japan, which is a matcha water. And it's um, finely ground uh, matcha powder with uh, sparkling mineral water. And it claims, says on the back of the bag, it's very uh, high in antioxidants as well. So it's matcha twist and shake, so the ingredients are in the cap. Oh, sorry, you're right. There they are. And does it change yeah. color when you open it? Yeah, it does. Okay, can you show us? Oh, I'm not sure how to try. So you twist it and then you shake it, presumably. Now you can shake. There we go. Okay, it's turning. Yeah, well keep, spotted. Keep shaking. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. And then so that's color. the matcha green tea color that you can see coming through. And that has yeah, um, and you have to stir it quite well because it stays on top. So now what, it even, what are the main benefits of matcha? Uh, it's antioxidant content. Okay. Yeah, great. It's, uh, it's rich in antioxidants. Yep. A couple Advice of interesting is. foods here yeah. as well. So we see a lot around um, insects for their protein content because mm -hmm. insects are said to be the future. Um, so this is a bar that is still yet to be produced in the market, but we got to bring it anyway. Um, and basically, it's a bar with uh, cricket flour in there. I tasted so. it. It's actually delicious. It's, it's, it's really good. good. So because you don't taste really... the cricket at all. It's no. just a cereal bar with a lot of chocolate. So it's a good way for consumers. So you don't have to taste the cricket flour in there. And it's still, yeah, it's perfect. And it's so high cricket protein. flour is going to be a real thing to see more of. Yeah. I would say so, yeah. Okay. Um, and then another one on protein, so which is meat. So we do see meat as a source of protein already. So they are kind of using that in this beef bar. And if you turn it around, that's how it looks like. So, so it has cherry in it, which is interesting. Habano. Yeah, it has, yeah, it has a habanero in Habanero. It. What's that? It's a spice. It's a chili. Okay. Um, so and cherry. Yeah, you're right. And then it has 13 grams of protein per bar. Um, and it says it's gluten-free. Yeah. Well, that's so that's true. high protein snacking, is it really? Exactly. It's high protein snacking. And they use bacon and uh, bison meat in there. Okay. So it's an interesting uh, combination. Yasmin, yeah, so. thank you. Really interesting. You're very welcome. Can you see any other new trends at the show that you're, you're particularly picking up on? Yeah, we have a lot of... Uh, we just released our top 10 trends for 2015. Mm -hmm. So there are a couple of them that are quite interesting. Um, so protein, we mentioned, it's in there already. Um, then we see clean label going clearer. So it's all about transparency more and using ingredients that people can understand. So that's a trend we see that will still remain. Um, so that's actually our number one trend for this year. And just overall the movements to more real, more natural, using uh, natural colors and natural flavors. Mm -hmm. So those are trends that we see growing still. Okay. Thank you, Yasmin.